Okay. And here we are. <laughs> oh, God. You see, everything get fucked up today, you know? It's like a one second delay, which means it's throwing me off a little. Anyway, Friday, everybody, the weekend gets started. And that means, hey, it's preseason football. Preseason. Who gives a flying fuck after you've had what, uh, a three and a half month lockout and all of this shit, who is giving a rat's ass about preseason football? I don't know. You know, I, I'll wind up watching bits and pieces of the Redskins tonight, you know, because they're playing the Steelers. They're, here's the thing, the games at FedEx, but they went with the story a couple of years ago where uh, the Steelers did a Monday night game there. And, or I should say, the Redskins did the game. This is that FedEx. It was a Monday night game a couple of years ago. They were playing the Steelers. Lo and behold, Steeler fans just snatched up all the, the uh, tickets that Redskins fans gave up on, or season ticket fans gave up on. So basically, you turn FedEx into Heinz Field on the Potomac, even though you're nowhere near the Potomac. Always, and I tell that story because basically my brother used to have season tickets. He gave them up. He said this was the reason he gave it up. Was he, you don't want to stand there and be drowned out in your own stadium. You know, have your own fan base drowned out in your own stadium. You know. So that's what happened. Anyway, it's a preseason game. And it's like I said. Find somebody else. Every time I hear Rex Grossman's name, I want to kick my guy to get a TV in. Such a fucking embarrassment. I said, we don't have a quarterback. I said, at least Kellen Clemens took some meaningful steps a few years ago, but, you know, what are the chances of him starting the season? Yeah. What do I know? Anyway. I told you this gets to be a completely fucked up weekend. I mean, that's one aspect, but uh, about 20 minutes or so, as I'm talking, it's about 20 minutes to 7. So in about 20 minutes or so, uh, they're going to do a game in Woodbridge, Virginia. Uh, this is the Potomac Nationals, that's the high class A team. Uh, it's Steven Strasburg's second rehab start. <laughs> and, uh, already, you got to figure, there's going to be cameras. Everybody's going to show up on this. Now, me, uh, I'm going to be busy tomorrow night. I won't be here because I always say Saturdays I don't go on the computer, but at least this time I have a legitimate reason. Uh, tomorrow night I get to go to Harrisburg, uh, me, my brother, and about five other people, uh, taking two cars to do this, and we're going to see Bryce Harper live and in person for Harrisburg. I haven't seen the video uh, that everybody's talked about where uh, I, I saw like a little snippet of it once. Uh, I think it was last time. I saw like a snippet of it. Uh, don't know what happened. I, I, I got this because my brother called me a moment ago you know, confirming that we're going to Harrisburg. And he was telling me the story of what happened. That it was a, on, on a 3-2 pitch that obviously was like ball four. It's so out of so far out of the strike zone, it's almost an obscenity. And the home plate umpire just brings up Bryce Harper. Whereupon, uh, as my brother put it, Bryce goes for the triple crown. He throws his batting helmet, he gets in the home plate umpire's grill, and he starts dropping F bombs. I said, there's the triple crown. And that's why he got tossed out of the game. I said, now that I understand the circumstance behind it, I'd almost want to see that. I'd almost want to see this uh, video. I'll, I'll go hunt on it one day. Maybe I'll hunt it later after I get done with this video I'm doing here. I may look at it. You know, but then again, here's the, but then the, the, the part that really would bug my ass is how the so-called national sports media 
basically has a big bug up their ass. They say, well, hey, you know, this kind of shows he's David Troy. He's 18. Instead of eight. He's 18. He turned pro, essentially, at 16. Okay, you get drafted at 17. I mean, basically, you get drafted at 17. Not, not quite 18 yet. You know, you're still learning the game, number one. And number two, there we go, okay, you get you got rung up because, you know, if they do this in double A ball, you'll do it anywhere in A or double A or even triple A. If you stay there and try and show up an umpire, you get run out. Uh, but again, I'd have to see this video in its entirety. Uh, but at any rate, you know, it's like, I, I seem to remember a couple of years ago, uh, they know the story of Delvin Young. Uh, you know, of course, the uh, younger brother, Dimitri Young, who once played for the Nationals. But Delvin Young, of course, uh, broke in with Tampa and now playing for the Twins. At least, I think now he's playing for the Twins. The story goes back a few years ago when he was playing uh, for Durham, which is the AAA farm team for the Tampa Bay Rays. Where, and you know this, everybody saw the video on this a few years ago, where even here on YouTube, they saw it where he flung a bat the home plate umpire after he got caught, you know, got run out or whatever. And he flings, you know, flings the bat at the umpire, hits the home plate umpire. You know, and everybody just looked at this and they said, you know, there's a problem here. It didn't stop Delman Young from actually making it to the major leagues, but... They sold this video, they replayed it over and over and over, and they made comments about his lack of maturity. Okay? So Bryce Harper stands there, drops a few F bombs. Hey, get ready for the major leagues. That's all you have to think on. It's a, hey, get, you, this, you know, this is the prep course. <laughs> At any rate, I kind of hope tomorrow night when I go up and I see them that there won't be a repeat of this. I figured, hell, I'll settle for a home run or maybe two. I don't even know where the hell we'll be sitting tomorrow night. But uh, Anyway, that is, uh, that's enough on that front. <laughs> oh, God. But while I was thinking about, you know, while you think about the parent club, Meaning the crew in Washington, talking about the Nationals kids. Uh, I don't know what the problem is here. Uh, lack of focus, or whatever the case may be. You know, here you had a chance to sweep this uh, series with the Cubs this week. They had a chance. Well, won the game Tuesday. Lost the game Wednesday. You know, again, lack of focus. And then yesterday. The game they would have played on Monday, except they got ringed out. Uh, they take a one nothing lead. You know, Ryan Zimmerman is doing, he's doing good. You know, Mike Moore swings the bat. Everybody's just having fun at the plate. But, I don't know what happened. I mean, Jordan Zimmerman did a hell of a job yesterday. It was like, six, well, really to say six innings, he was... Almost, you'd almost say lights out. Gets to the seventh inning, lose focus. I don't know whatever reason. And a game that should have should have won and really should have swept this series. You wind up losing this series, and you know. And now, of course, tonight you got to do this weekend series with the Phillies. No, you you got to keep you you got to show that you can compete. In your own division. So that's where that is. I just, you know, I, I made a prediction at the start of the year that, that the Nats would probably finish eight, eight games under 500. The way they're playing, they have a chance to prove me, you know, prove me wrong and actually improve on it. Or it could go deeper south. I don't know. You have, what, six weeks, seven weeks, seven weeks. Thank you. I have to go with this in my head. <laughs> oh, God. Go with this in my head. Anyway. Um, so that will take care of that. 
Now that I have a few minutes here or a few seconds, I'll get some things out of the way. Uh, video I made, uh, I think a couple of days or a couple of couple of videos ago. I can't say days because I don't know what I'm ever on here. But um, video I made about the debt ceiling, you know, and all that bullshit. And I made a video, and I made a response to, uh, did a video response to someone, or, or to another video. And, you know, some people do appreciate what I was trying to get across. One of these standards says, you suck, you know, I don't care. You know, I can fucking care less, really. I just threw that in as an afterthought for the, uh, because I was talking about the math and the skin and all this shit, and I just threw in the debt ceiling thing as an afterthought. But you see what goes on in this world. You know, it's YouTube. What can I honestly say? It's YouTube. It's amazing I have been doing this now, going on three years. Three years. Uh... I, I've been doing YouTube three years. This is the second channel I did. The first one, I think I've told the story many, many a time that I had to delete my original channel on here because people hacked into it, started doing all types of shit. You tried telling the authorities of YouTube, they don't listen, so I said, okay, I'll just go back and just do a second channel. Now, how long I do this channel, I don't know. I start. At some point, I'll get bored, or this thing may finally disgust me, one of the two. I uh, probably won't. <laughs> but, uh, it's like I said, I do this just, I don't really do this so much for my own benefit. I do it more because you want to get people to actually pay attention to me when I try to tell you shit. But I can't control what other people think. I'll just leave all of you with that. Uh, enjoy your weekend. Even though I know this is a fucking free season game. You know, hell the rest is blah, blah, blah. Whatever. <laughs> I got it. Uh, you can discuss it. Here it is, folks. This is, what, mid-August? And already I get in, uh, I'm already in prime mode for the Redskins season. <laughs> Oh, God, am I fucked. All right, I'm out of here, folks. Enjoy your weekend. And I don't know, I will, I will talk about the Bryce Harper deal. Uh, I'm guessing Sunday or the next opportunity I get to do a video. Who knows? Anyway, I'm done. Adios, motherfuckers. And we'll, I said enjoy your weekend. Whatever. Yeah, okay. Now I'm done.